Well, it reminds me of a proverb like uh, fall in love at the first sight. And frankly speaking, uh, my overall impression for the first week, it means that I don't have to rely on the public transportation here in Geneva. Yeah, there's something that uh, bothers, bothers me. Um, I think uh, this is uh, maybe one of the downsides. And the seventh point is the handlebar or the steering. It is designed ergonomically. Now let's move on to my personal reasons. Hey everyone, it's Tidi here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Last week I told you that I would give you my points of view related to the urban bike type Elops Uprider 500 long distance that I purchased from Decathlon Geneva. And I also told you that I would give you my personal reasons for choosing this type of bike. So in this video, you are going to know all about it and therefore please stay tuned and watch it till the end. Oh, by the way, don't forget to click subscribe and press the bell icon too. I'll be right back after this intro. A week ago, I fetched my bike, Elops Uprider 500 long distance at Decathlon nearby Cornavan, a train station here in Geneva. And since then, I've been using this bike uh, around the city for about 10 to 20 kilometers. So what's next? Well, you will probably ask me about whether or not I'm impressed by this type of city bike. And frankly speaking, uh, my overall impression for the first week uh, in terms of stars, I would say four stars out of five. You probably ask me what's going on. And well, um, you will find out the answer later in this video. And uh, just so you know, guys, that I, you know, I like working in a structured way. And um, now let me break down into several points so that it's easier for you to follow. And the first point is the tires and the wheels. So far, I don't have any issues. But with Kanda ATB 700 by 35 steep bead tires with reflective strip, so it's not slippery at all. When the rain comes and you pump onto a slope while riding, at least it is in my case. So I have tried in both conditions. I mean, when there was no, ri no rain and uh, when the rain came, for example, the inner tubes are equipped with car valve. Um, it is easy to pump the air at the service station or bike station if you don't have a pump uh, at home, you know. And the second is that the suspensions here. So the details information about Santu SF15 called suspension fork with 40 millimeters uh, clearance uh, is available online if you want to study more about it. But for me, it is really nice to have this while biking in the city where, you know, you will always pass a rubber road to some extent. Yeah. And the third is the gears. So far, it's quite smooth. Even though I change suddenly from time to time, especially when I bike up uh, the, the hilly roads, you know, because in Geneva there are some hilly uh, roads, the shifter both left and uh, right side are easy to use. The only thing is that I have to get used to it is because it happens to me, you know, sometimes I want to increase the gear, but I shifted the, the wrong uh, crank set. And the fourth, um, the brakes, yeah. I haven't had any issues so far, but it would be very nice to have a disc brake in a front wheel. And now the fifth is the light. The front light Echo 15 looks elegant, uh, works very nicely. I mean at night where I pass roads which have less lights, you know, somehow you, you can find this anywhere in the city. I could see my path uh, without uh, ha having problems. Also the real light is very bright, so it allows um, other riders or uh, vehicles, uh, users, to see that there's me in front of them, you know. So, and the saddle is quite comfortable uh, as I don't have a big ass, so it's not that issue. The only thing that I felt weird uh, the following day that um, my ass was a bit painful after biking at the first day. You know, it's, it maybe it happens because I haven't uh, uh, cycled uh, for quite some time, you know. And the seventh point is the handlebar or the steering. It is designed ergonomically, so you don't have to hold it firmly while riding, as you can put your palms on it here. And it is adjustable, particularly the stem, which you can put higher or lower depending on your height and 
the level of your saddle. However, if you want to change it the way you want, then you need a special tool. So now let's move on to my personal reasons for choosing this type of city bike. Well, at least I have, you know, listed six reasons which I think the factors that triggered me to make up my mind. So the first reason is the design. Well, it reminds me of a proverb like uh, fall in love at the first sight. So I like this design. It, it fits my style, you know, and uh, it is firm and looking a very tough yet sporty bike. And also it resembles my personality traits. Ha. <laughs> you know what I mean. And the second is the color. So in general, I like black color uh, because I think it's, it's really cool. But uh, having seen this, this color, when I fetched it at the Decathlon uh, here in Geneva, I said to myself, why not? It's really cool. And this, the third reason is the Shimano Hub Dynamo. Can you spot this name? Indonesia. Yes, this part is made in Indonesia. Well, who doesn't support his or her own national economy? So, you know, a small support means a lot for Indonesian workers. If you like this bike, or if you love Indonesia, then you can buy this bike as well, all right? So, and the fourth reason is the type of this bike. The type of this bike is really, for me, it's high, hybrid bike, you know? You can drive on the rough and also on the smooth roads. And the fifth is the budget. Well, it is expensive a bit, but it's a good investment. You know, it means that I don't have to rely on the public transportation here in Geneva. And also it keeps me, you know, uh, moving with my, with my bike. And the sixth personal reason is the review. It's very important, why? Because uh, you always have to look at uh, the people who comment on the, the, the bike, how satisfied they are with the bike they bought from Decathlon. I mean, uh, this type of bike. And yeah, so far uh, the review are very positive and they are mostly from Germany. And there's one from the UK, it was very negative, but it was in 2019, so I guess um, between uh, this bike company ha has listened to some extent and they uh, made some progress, you know, we never know. So, suggestion is that with that price, 590 Swiss franc, I think it would be very nice for uh, between to put a disc brake in front and uh, it's gonna be like cool, you know. So write down your comment if you bought the same bike as me. And if you like this video, please give your thumbs and also you can share with your friends. All right. Also, don't forget to click subscribe and press the bell icon too. And by the way, you probably want to ask me, um, is there anything that bothers me with this bike? Yeah, there's something that uh, bothers, bothers me. Um, I think uh, this is uh, maybe one of the downsides. You know, when I pedal, uh, I, I heard uh, this uh, clicking sound, you know, so I don't know, maybe I have to uh, return to Decathlon uh, to get some uh, answers and maybe uh, they can fix it. Why? Uh, there's a clicking sound when I'm pedaling, but therefore uh, I give four stars out of five. So guys, thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, see you again next time. I'm Didi Lujavani. Take care. Ciao.